Good morning. It is Saturday, the universal day of comfy clothes. I'm wearing my Instagram sweatshirt so that y'all take me seriously. And it is also the universal day of bagels. One sec, would this be easier if I set you down? Case in point about Saturday comfort. I'm nothing but comfortable. So Eric and I normally go to our favorite bagel place on Saturday and my bagel order, which I am a firm believer that you should never judge somebody's bagel order, justice for Cynthia Nixon. My current bagel order is baked salmon salad on an everything bagel and it is so good. It is deliciously good. However, I don't want to spend like six dollars on a bagel today. I have bagels yesterday from a video I filmed, but I have an avocado and I have leftover salmon. So that's today's breakfast. Let's make it. Flat and wide and we have thick and juicy. So since this is like a single serving, I'm just gonna put everything on the board and just mash it on here. Adriana from A Cozy Kitchen changed my life when she showed me that so many things are easier to mash on a flat surface than in a bowl, especially if it's single serving, just like no mess, do it all in one thing. Despite being suspiciously green and not fitting on my bagel, this is incredibly good. I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you for breakfast number two. Good God. Avocados for a president. So technically it is the night and my neighbor's like naked and making his bed. Dude. Okay, technically it is no longer breakfast. I had cereal for breakfast, it was fantastic. I swear to God, cereal deserves like an award. But we are now gonna be prepping overnight oats for Monday, Tuesday, because I know myself and I know that I don't like prepping like five breakfasts for the week because I inevitably get bored. But we're gonna prep two oats, slightly different, using one stewed apple, going a little bit past what I normally do just to make it like a fun, interesting recipe. So Sunday night, we'll make Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, we'll come back and make something else. So everything for this, I tend to always eyeball because I just don't measure any of that stuff anymore. However, I will leave a recipe on my website. I'll link that below for what we're doing here. It's super simple and you can definitely like make it your own. These are from Amazon. I love them very much. They hold really well in the fridge and they're also super stackable and really cute. Again, I eyeball, but I wanna say about two-thirds cup oats per one and then I do a little bit of chia you don't need much chia seeds are better for overnight oats because you always want them fully hydrated when you eat them otherwise they'll absorb moisture in your digestive system and kind of work opposite the way that you want them to work only about I'd say a spoonful Again, I'm using it as a thickening and flavoring agent. And last, but arguably most important, I'm using two separate sweetener slash flavoring things for each of these. I only use about like a tablespoon of each. And that can be like, honestly, whatever I'm feeling. It feels weird to be talking like there, but I'll, do, I'll keep going. So I'm doing fig butter in one of them because that feels very fall. And then the other, I'm doing pumpkin's hummus which like people have been making recipes for it everywhere. And I'm really, also like this spoon, but I'm really been into it. It's very good. Just think of it as like sweetened chickpeas. Now the main event. I use one apple for two overnight oats, but again, you do you, you know yourself better than anybody else. We'll just do like a quick little stewed apple and it'll be really good.
So I add a little bit of water when the apples first go in, kind of to just give the pan a little bit of moisture to give them like a little something to steam. There we go. But when you see them start to release their own moisture, that's a sign that they're pretty close to being soft and being ready. And then I just let these reach room temp, seal them up and store them. And I'll show you how I top them on Monday and Tuesday. Okay, I just finished editing Sundays, like me telling everybody how to make oats, and I looked so tired. I am awake now. Let me set you guys here. I'm awake now, proving that I am definitely a morning person. Cause like, wow, just don't talk to me after 5 p.m. Anyways, we've now done a savory breakfast, two sweets, and I'm craving savory again. And I know a lot of plant-based people follow me, so I am definitely thinking it is time for a tofu scramble. That I will be putting on my favorite gluten-free crisp bread. I'm really excited for this. Now, I know that there is a classic tofu scramble that you've probably seen. It's designed to look like scrambled eggs. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do something a little bit different. It's gonna be like a chili tofu scramble. Super easy, can be made in like five minutes, and it's enough for like two days, maybe more, so this'll be Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday we'll do something fun. I'm awake. This is my favorite part of my spice rack process where I just pull out my two like DIY spice racks and I pick what I want. I got these from Target to make these. I just like felt the need to be organized. Coriander, chili powder, cumin. I know it's cumin, don't at me. Papriks, and red pepper flakes. Know these lovers and you will always know flavor. You want it still kind of lumpy. Apologies if this is disturbing for some of you. Add way more than you think you need. And tofu already has a lot of moisture content, so the goal here is to cook that out. So you'll see it's gonna release a lot of water and we'll know that it's finished when all that water has evaporated. So I raised this to the natural light to see if it looks any better, and it doesn't. I mean, it looks like a ground beef substitute, but it tastes really good and that's, where YouTube comes in because this I would normally scrap and like it would never see Instagram, it would never see TikTok, but it's so good. So game plan switch up. I'm gonna do the avocado toast like I said I would, but then tomorrow I'm gonna do breakfast tacos and we're just gonna go with it because it's a, it's a team effort, right? I'm also gonna be using this. I love it. Can you can get them at any like specialty grocery store for, and they're called Norwegian crisp breads or you can get them at Trader Joe's under the same name. They have gluten-free and normal. Hello, it is Friday and I'm dehydrated, but I did promise a fun breakfast today. So we are gonna do baked oats because I started as an oats account. I will live and die as an oatmeal appreciation account. And I promised something really fun. So on my Instagram, I polled, would you rather have blueberry pancake or pumpkin chocolate? And the poll right now is like really tight. It's 51 to 49, which I interpret as I can do whatever I want. And you'll find out what it is at the end.
Okay, Friday morning POV. <laughs> it's not going as planned. Confirming that it is cake for breakfast. How is it already outro time? I feel like I literally just did an intro. Okay, it's still Friday. I still have my oats that I'm eating, but I did shower and I did put on real clothes because when else do I have an excuse to put on real clothes? Absolutely never. But I just wanted to say, I hope you liked this week of breakfasts. All the recipes will be linked below if you want to check them out, as well as all the food products that I used. Some of them I do have codes for. They're not affiliate codes. I don't get anything from them. They're just there for you guys to use. And in the meantime, if you have any video requests, ideas, let me know. I think I'm gonna be uploading once a week, maybe more, maybe less. And if you like the video, throw it a like, throw it a sub, and I will see you in the next one.